Did yeah, anybody know pretty nice. Heavily? That grenade coming out could be connected onto Snacks or Slayer. Going to be rolling down the mountainside a little bit. Those are pretty hard to connect. You do have to mention Imperium. But I like the fact that Box Gaming in the south trying to spread himself a little bit thin to get multiple angles, especially on the teams up north of them. And Team ID are actually kind of disengaging away from this, right? Realizing that they don't have a clear sight, so they're looking to try and, and just create that nice clear spread, leaving Slayer and putting Snacks and 420 OP on the north side of the circle. Trying to look for Godard, maybe. Valdis on the very... Like, every single team is on the edge because you said it, right? It's a yeah. slope. It's such a hard position to play around. We've got one crate in the center. That golden crate could be useful for a team that tries to be proactive, take the game in their control, in their very own hands. So keep that crate in mind. But no mer... Oh, sorry. I'm seeing, like, the entirety of more. But no mercy with the rest of his squad. They're going to be in a dip. And as I was going to say, grenades are huge to connect and easily able to connect on the squad. Marvi. Grenade from Marvi connects. He's going to go for the ring gate. It's going to be a 1v2, but nice fight back for more team. They eliminate Orange Rock. I thought that they had the advantage, but no, Orange Rock get absolutely destroyed in that one. Four teams still in play. I think that was a bit of a mistake that Mavi didn't mean to have that high of a scope attached, and he kind of paid the price. But great play by Morph. Got the squad right under Orange Rock. They do have the northwest side on their own as Martin connects on the break. Oh, Martin, the last man standing of Valdis. Gonna go for the end game, but Pime is gonna seal it down. He's gonna get rid of Valdis the murder, eliminated in fourth. Still gotta say, respectable attempt by Martin, taking a 1v2, but it's just a little bit too much. He had no information on where they were coming from. Box will take the win. Pime getting the no more nails and just sealing that leak that was Valdis the murder. We get down to the last three teams Box Gaming, Team IND, a morph team. Yeah, but Team ID, they're trying their best to hold on to the eastern side, but Box Gaming, they're taking control, they're pushing on forward more. That crate is actually being extremely useful for them. You're going to see Break on the side, going to go for the spray, hits one or two bullets from No Mercy. He's got to completely capitalize on this engagement. Loki, that grenade could be huge, knows exactly where it is, into the smoke. Oh, they connect, they've seen pretty close, it will connect indeed onto Zay, and now it's all in the hands of Jake C. Break, maybe you want to try and commit to this one, but they're going to send on forward another player that's going to be Loki, but those smokes are really stopping him from fully capitalizing on this fight. And it was because of the knockdowns that came onto IND that gave Box Gaming so much more space and confidence, but it's a matter of, and they know that Team IND are there, so they're still being just as confident. Box, they really want this first position, but now they've got to take two fights. They see Team ID on the right side, Slay on Snacks. Got the intel, but no mercy. Gets confirmed out by Break. He's going to be out of the lobby also, confirming that other kill. Eight so far, they're looking for double digits. Box Gaming, they are thirsty, they are hungry. They need those nutrients, Imperiums. But that grenade response from Slurf from Team ID on the east, they did not expect it because they're playing on the valley side, so they're pretty easy to connect. The second grenade comes out, gets a little bit more tick damage, but Snacks gets the perfect angle onto Morph Team, eliminated in third, and now it's all between Team ID and Box Gaming. Break with the M16. Those single fire shots from a distance. Behind a rocket, Slayer gets dropped. Ah, Slayer gets knocked down. Now it's all in the hands of Snacks. Gonna be a 1v3. Pimei got rezzed back up on his feet. 1v3 is gonna be pushing on forward. He knows he wants to uh, try and avoid them from rezzing up too heavily. Snacks gets the perfect angle, but that's only gonna be one.